the company has a sister. Well, the company is located in Canada, but they have sister companies with the last with the last the USA in um, Rimeless, Michigan, Indiana, and Laredo, Texas. And well, when I went get the chain of custody to go take the drug screen, it was Canadian with a Canadian. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So drop, nigga. <laughs> Oh, you think you just gonna leave it down there? No, huh? We don't waste no more soap in here. I'm, I'm finished. All right, so let's do this, man. Brian in the building. All right, so all right. So you you reached out to me uh, via the 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 SAP group on um on Facebook and. You know, we're we was going back and forth in the messenger and everything, and I'm I, I guess I'm still kind of foggy on your situation. So help me understand and you know, so that everybody else can understand what what's going on with you. So start at the beginning of uh of what's up. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yeah, this is what happened. Um I tied for well, first off, my back went out during COVID and well smoked a couple of joints because because the doctor wasn't available and if I did go to a doctor you have to recommend a pain pain doctor so that could be no available either. So I went up and took care of myself. I even though I shouldn't have but hey but gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah so I um went apply for a job, went did a road test, uh went to orientation, they sent me for a drug screen. They um gave me a Canadian chain of custody you'll okay. get a drug test done okay so let me stop you right there uh i guess that's where i'm i'm kind of confused that what is a canadian chain of custody you you had to go to canadian to take the drug test or or what what no, was that it, about I can go, well the company has a sister well the company is located in canada but they have sister companies with the last, with the last the USA in um, Rimeless, Michigan, Indiana, and Laredo, Texas, and well, when I went get the chain of custody to go take the drug screen, it was Canadian with a Canadian address on it. In my opinion, if I'm, in my opinion, I, went, I work for a company, and I couldn't even take a Canadian truck back with that Canadian plates on it. It would not let me cross the border. So in my opinion, why am I, why did they give me a chain of custody from Canada with a with their Canadian address on it? Okay, so where did you take the drug test at? Well, I took the drug test at um a place in Romulus. It was, it was like a you know it's not there at the terminal, but I did with that drug place. Okay, so you, I don't want to say your name on here. No, no, that's that's fine. So you took the drug test you went they did what hair follicles urine or both or or what urine okay yeah, but before i went to take the drug test before before i went and took the job or offered a job i made sure i was clean so i took my own home test okay and now okay. all my home test came yeah all my home tests came back negative all right awesome we can we can touch back on the on the home test and what you use but okay so you 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 took the drug test here in the states, in particularly up in Michigan, up where the terminal was at. What what, was that? what what part? What did the Canadian chain of custody come into play? Like, what did what? that do? Well, see, they're a Canadian company. They got, they got sister companies that are in here in the U.S. So they gave me this. I don't know why they gave me a chain of custody from Canada. Okay, so that's... So when I went and took the test, I came back like two weeks later and said I tested positive. Okay, so that's where the, where the drug test went? I mean, where your specimen went for the drug test was up in Canada? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, 
a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. No, it, 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 um, it, the specimen went to um, Missouri. Okay, so the specimen... But the chain of custody had, but chain of custody had um, the company's place in Canada. The, the, <laughs> the company name. Oh, okay. So the, company named, the company I went to said USA behind it, with their name, but with USA behind it. Okay, so what I'm looking at here because you sent me, uh, you 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 sent me your your uh, your report, and yeah. it says here RTD tests with negative results. Uh, the employer, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the the employer, which is you you want to you you want to say the name of the company or no? I, I really don't care because you know I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I try to reply with them again. And they said no, so okay. Charger Logistics, okay. Chicago, Ontario. All right, so Charger Charger Logistics out of Mississauga, Ontario. Then it got yeah, your. They have a sister company. Well, it, they have a sister company called Charger Logistics. Well, Charger me, Logistics USA. Let Let me just read what what I'm looking at right here. Uh, right. It got your. Your information, um, and then down at the bottom, it has violation information. Uh, the test results or the test date was one eight twenty one early did or a couple yep. a couple of years ago actually. Okay, yeah. a couple of, a couple of years ago, verified result one eighteen. So about ten days later, uh. Reason for test pre-employment uh, drug screening, and it said the violation was positive. Okay, oh, so yeah. so yeah. this is so this is back in twenty twenty one, and 21. and where you actually took the drug test was their USA affiliate here in the states, right? Correct. Okay, so so. Your question altogether is is based on the chain of custody. I'm still not. Yeah, understand, why, I'm, why am I I'm still not understanding the the chain of custody if your urine specimen was was tested here in the states. Maybe that's maybe, what I'm saying because as a truck driver, we mm -hmm. can't bring a plated Canadian truck over. So if we can't bring a plated Canadian truck over. To the state as a U.S. driver, why am I being charged for a, a positive drug screen for a Canadian company? Hmm. I, I I fought with uh, the clearinghouse about it. They don't care. Well, you know, they might, their their response was, "Well, you tested positive." That's all he said. Yeah, that. But I told them, "So, well, that's ridiculous. This whole system's messed up, dude. I can tell you what well, it should be. If, at your first defense, it should be a return to duty." At, at the return of duty, you should go back to work in any company because they're got. I'm getting blackballed by every company, basically. Yeah, because of your 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 results, but but Brian, man, this is this was like two years ago. You still are being blackballed to this day. Yeah. Did you go through? I applied for. Uh, I did you? Yeah, go, I went through the program. So you went through the program. I just, I just got through. Yeah. I just got done with it about a few weeks ago. God damn, two years to go through the program? They told for what I heard that they can for what I've been told that they can close it after two years. Because it's been two years. That's what I've been told. So you you but, just got finished with the program. Well, yep. you was finished prior to the two year mark where it's actually closing, right? Yeah, I, I was finished. I was. Uh, I had returned to in in, uh, in two thousand, and uh, I think it was two thousand twenty-one of March. Got my return to duty status, and after that, you know, my SAP guy didn't set nothing up. My company didn't set nothing up. So, yeah, it's you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, this whole program, this whole program is a joke, in my opinion. It's it's unfortunate. It's money grabber. It's it's unfortunate that I can I can understand and see it from your point of view as being the money grab and everything, because if you if you 
like test positive and it's in the clearing house, then yeah, you're pretty much blackballed from any companies legitimately uh, coming into those companies. But I have talked to a YouTuber, uh, not a YouTuber, I'm sorry. I talked to a driver that actually was blackballed by another company that said that he test positive, but he actually didn't. Um, he said that the test came back positive, but it was it it was it was some hinky stuff from a from a black ops company. Uh, you had to go back and watch the video. Um, but he said he he was able to he was able to get his situation overturned uh, through the clearinghouse. So, I mean, I could get, I could point you in his direction and, you know, his information is in the, you know, is in the description and in the, um, and in the video, but yeah, he was able to get that overturned. Now, as far as your situation with the chain of custody and everything like that, I'm, I haven't came across anybody, you know, in my travels that had that situation before, because that's why I'm saying like, I'm not even I'm not even sure. I'm I'm thinking chain of custody is like when they give like like if they give somebody something and they have to sign paperwork to transfer it over to somebody else and then somebody else take it and then when they give it to uh the final destination where they're supposed to give it to, they sign it off that way. That that is chain That's of what custody. That's why you sign drug screen. When right. you sign a drug screen paper, you're getting, you're getting chain of custody. Okay, so what they doing is sending your, so they sending your paperwork from the U.S. uh U.S. company to the to the Canadian company. I guess they do. Well, I guess they did that to keep it in to keep it filed. I mean, have you ever thought of that? But, but see, but why would you get a somewhere a Canadian chain of custody for a drug test? You're go I went to the U.S. side. I was on the U.S. side when I applied for the job, and I did the road test on the U.S. side. And the U.S. side was supposed I was supposed to be working at. Well, you already said that that the that the company is owned by the Canadian, by Canadian company. company. Yeah. So I but, I would well, imagine I, I would imagine that's that's why I'm assuming they would your your file your your quote unquote employment file will be filed at the Canadian company. I don't now hey listen, I, I don't know, so don't quote me on all this stuff because I'm like you. I wouldn't understand why my US everything I'm doing over here in the US will be filed in a Canadian office. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would imagine well, I don't all understand my you stuff. Me. Like I said, you can't bring <laughs> You can't bring a Canadian a, a Canadian plated truck over to the U.S. side unless it has can, U.S. plates on it. <laughs> yeah. A Canadian can't bring a truck. A, a, a Canadian driver can't take a U.S. truck over to Canada unless he has a U.S. driver's license. Right. I. I. And vice versa. Now, how, how, that's my stuff. How do I get a, a Canadian chain of custody for him when it's supposed to be I'm working on the U.S. side? They should have gave me a U.S. form. I with I, their with the U.S. address on it. I agree. I I I definitely agree because I'm I'm looking and at the information. And that's what I'm saying. I think I think the whole thing should be taken off. I'm I'm looking at the information I right think it's here. Bogus. I'm I'm looking at the information right here that you gave me, and instead of the instead of the U.S. address, it's the it's the Ontario address. So again, but look it I up. Could, there's one Romulus, Michigan. I like Chargers are Romulus. Every day for the last ten years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? But like, but like I said, being that the. I, I'm 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 just assuming that that the office, the home office, the home base is con is is the Canadian office, and that's where everything as far as your 
files and everything would go. I I I would I I would venture off to say that much. But as far as the as far as you know what me and you think how it should work, I mean I agree with you. I mean if I do everything if, if I'm working on American side, I work for a Canadian company. Right. I work for the Canadian company on the American side. Right. It says USA after. Right. I I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um that should be that should be that should be off my record. I I I I I totally agree with you. But as far as as far as the clearinghouse that it's it's unfortunate. That's messed up too, man, cuz I tell yeah. you what. For one, if people only did it once, you should only be able to get returned to duty and you should be blackballed for no company. That shouldn't be once you clear, once it's clear, you should be able to you should be able to uh once you did all your program crap, it should just vanish period. You spent five hundred bucks. You might as well get might as well get off your record. Off the record, should we disappear? Should even show up on my clearinghouse? I agree. I, I mean, agree. just uh, just today, this last night, somebody in Detroit drove was driving semi drunk supposedly and shooting at people. <laughs> All right, so I Brian, man, Let's report on news tonight. <laughs> Brian, man, before we uh before we tip on up out of here because I'm I, I my thirty minutes is about to go uh about to about to be finished. Hey, so you you said that you you took a home uh 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 the home drug test. Where where did you go to? Where did you go to get the drug test? And how how did you figure out? Amazon, results? buddy, Amazon, Amazon. You can do it yourself. You know, you can get everything off of Amazon, bro. That's <laughs> right. I'm telling you. So you, uh, so I you, did all the time, no problem. So you did. So you went on ahead and took your home base, uh, drug test, and you you figured it out by. You I know, took reading. four of them, dude. Oh, okay. And I you, took four of them, and you figured it out by reading the instructions and everything, and. And say, hey, you know, I did I'm, it right. I'm good to go. But when you went to go and actually took the drug test via the 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 clinic, they came up with a different uh result, huh? Yeah, I like that. Like I said, I think some of that, I like that clinic was kind of weird too. Sometimes, so I went the other day for a drug test, and it took them forever to get it done. They didn't know what the hell she was doing. Part of my language. <laughs> But then again, like I said, this this was back in 2021, though. I'm, but right here, I know. But it's right here, be off. But right here at the top, though, it says follow up testing plan for 12 2023. God, that man. was done. I'm good to go. God, I, I can't say how I did it, but let's just say it got done. Just got done. <laughs> All right, so you so as of right now, you're 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 out of the program, free and clear. And I'm out of the just, program, and you're just now. Yeah, uh, you know, are you are you driving now, or are you are you still looking for a company? What's your status right now? Well, I'm in between. I, I don't know. I'm gonna pick something I want to do. I have to have been in this industry for 16 years of driving with the with with, with all the crap that's going on with the government. I just, I just I think about getting out of it, but I haven't decided yet. All right, all right, Brian, everybody. Because I hate to say it, because it's crappy. It's, 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 it's government running trucking is crappy. Until I get until I get behind in office, then then it'll be better. Because I'll make sure I get parking. <laughs> you say you going to you say you running for president next uh, in twenty twenty four? All right. <laughs> And like I say, I drove a truck. Brian for president. I like the other person. <laughs> like the other president like he drove a truck, but there's no log books, no log books to prove it. <laughs> well, I'm Brian, telling you, if a trucker is run, a trucker can run. All these truckers can run this this United States better. Nah, I'm being honest. That's what's up, man. Brian, we're hard workers. We don't need to be done. Brian, man, thank you very much for uh, for reaching out to me and chopping it up, man. I I wish I, and I appreciate the 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 added information because, like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, keen on how all that handoff the handoff works as far as you know your. your the lawyer won't touch it. 
Yeah, so I'm I'm not even sure how all that works, but I do appreciate the conversation on it, man. This is this is something new, something uh interesting, and maybe somebody else, uh, maybe somebody else probably experienced the same thing. So thank you very much for sharing your story with me, man. No problem, no problem. All right, I appreciate it. You stay safe out there, man, and uh and much success to you in your career. You too, you too, man. Keep all right. All keep, right, bro. Keep it safe, man. All right. Hey, all right. So we're off the air. Uh, what I'm going to need from you, brother man, is hold on right quick. Uh, what I'm going to need. Uh, I'm going to need about three selfie photos for the uh, for the thumbnail. And uh, and uh, and what you can also send me is like a little description of yourself. You can email me all of that. All right. All right. No all right. problem. I appreciate you, bro. Take it easy. You too, man. Be uh, safe. All right, now. You got to get busy, though, man. Alone. Can we get busy, man, please, without you fucking up? <laughs> For real? Now, turn that shit up. Turn that shit up. Turn that up. When I met you, I One. admit my first thought was a oh, trick. You look so good, huh? I, I suck, suck on your daddy dick. dick. Never felt that way in my life. Uh -huh. It didn't take long before I been taking no more, man. Nigga, fuck it up every joint.